everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 17th and 18th of july 2022 let's start what is the rate of retail inflation recorded in india in the month of june 2022 so as per the recent data that has been released by the national statistics office retail inflation slowed down marginally to 7.0 0.1% in the month of june from 7.04% in the month of may 2022 due to moderation in the food inflation okay so the inflation rate continued to remain above the 7% mark for the third month in a row and it is higher than the reserve bank of india's target of 2 plus minus 4% for the medium term for two quarters okay so correct answer would be 7.01% coming to the question slide which institution releases the index of industrial production output data so national statistical office which works under ministry of statistics and program implementation releases the index of industrial production growth data and the iip growth rose to 19.6% in the month of may as against 7.1% in the month of april and the manufacturing sector's output grew by 20.6% in the month of may this year while the mining output rose to 10.9% and the power generation increased by 23. Five percent. Not very relevant. Only thing you have to remember is this output data is released by National Statistical Office. Which institution released the cost of living crisis in the developing countries report? So United Nations Development Program released this particular report, and it shows that inflation will have only negligible impact on poverty in India. So as per the report. targeted transfers help the poorer household to cope with the price rise and in india targeted and time bound transfers of food and cash were given to the vulnerable section okay under which scheme so food was provided under pradhan mantri garib kalyan ann yojana and cash was given under pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana okay Which institution introduced the mechanism to facilitate international trade in rupees? This is Reserve Bank of India. It will basically help in trade with the countries under global sanctions and also it may add strength to rupees in the forex trade. Okay? Which of the following financial institutions collaborated with the World Line to develop POS payment? What is POS? It is point of sale. Actually, it is a kind of technology used by the retailers whenever a buyer pays a certain amount online or offline to purchase some kind of goods and services. Okay. So Bajaj Finance has partnered with World Line to develop the POS payment. Which payments institution has collaborated with Go Digit General Insurance Limited? to offer the shop insurance to small and medium sized businesses this is fino payments bank okay next question which is the venue of 
द नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ स्टेट एग्रीकल्चर एंड हॉर्टिकल्चर मिनिस्टर्स सो टू डेज नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ स्टेट एग्रीकल्चर एंड हॉर्टिकल्चर मिनिस्टर्स वॉज इनोग्रेटेड इन बेंगलुरु इन द स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका एंड यूनियन एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र सिंह तोमर लॉन्च्ड द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म्स अंडर ई नाम एंड दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस इज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर वाई टू कमोमरेट आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव ओके कमिंग टू द क्वेश्चन स्लाइड विद सिटी रिसेंटली होस्टेड द इंडिया एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन समिट सो मिनिस्टर फॉर पावर मिस्टर आर के सिंह हु इज ऑल्सो आवर मिनिस्टर फॉर न्यू एंड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी अड्रेस्ड दिस पर्टिकुलर समिट इन न्यू डेली एंड हियर इज सेट दैट इंडिया इज लीडिंग इन एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन एंड ऑल्सो इट इज फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी कैपेसिटी इन द वर्ल्ड सो ही अफॉर्म दैट इंडिया कैन अचीव सेवन हंड्रेड गीगावॉट ऑफ रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी थर्टी इफ वी मैनेज टू अचीव द विजन ऑफ ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन ग्रीन अमोनिया एंड इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स ओके विच कंट्री इज द होस्ट ऑफ शंघाई कॉपरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रीजनल एंटी टेरिस्ट स्ट्रक्चर मीटिंग इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दिस इज इंडिया विच कंट्री FIFA under 17 women's world cup 2022 so the host of fifa is india and this event would be taking place from 11 to 30th of october 2022 and this is the second fifa tournament to be hosted by india and the first tournament was fifa under 17 world cup in the year 2017 that india hosted okay which country hosted the special asian india foreign ministers meeting so it was also hosted by india what is asian the association of southeast asian nations you have to tell me where does the headquarters lie which country hosted the global conference of the young parliamentarians answer would be egypt okay next question the conference on the export potential of natural organic and geographical indications agro product was held in which particular city actually to boost the export of horticulture products that are grown in the north eastern states the government has formulated a strategy to promote locally produced agricultural product to the international market okay so apeda it works under ministry of commerce and industry it has organized several capacity building programs and the international buyer seller meets so apeda also organized conference on the export potential of natural organic and gi agro product in guwahati assam okay talking about assam it has total seven national parks and one of the national park of assam is orang so orang national park was in news because the state government of assam has decided to increase the size of this national park up to Three times of its current size. Fine. You have to tell me the names of the other six national parks of Assam. Coming to the question slide, which company unveiled India's first indigenously developed lithium-ion cell? So, Ola Electric has launched the country's very first indigenously developed lithium-ion cell, and this company is set to begin the mass production of the cell NMC two one seven zero from its chennai based giga factory by the year 2023 and the cell packs more energy in a given space and also it improves the overall life cycle of the cell due to the specific chemicals and the material used fine which company is set to produce india's first quadrivalent human papilloma virus vaccine against the cervical cancer actually the drugs controller general of india has approved india's very first qhpv against cervical cancer and this vaccine will be manufactured by pune based serum institute of india and cervical cancer is the second most frequent cancer among women in india between the ages of 15 and 44 okay so it would be produced by serum institute of india 
which company's merger with Inox Laser has been approved by the Bombay Stock Exchange and the National Stock Exchange. This is your favorite PVR Cinemas. Which company recently collaborated with the Kotak General Insurance to offer the motor insurance? So recently PhonePay has collaborated with the Kotak General Insurance so as to offer the motor insurance. Which company was the most valuable brand emerging out of India? According to the Kantar Brands 2022 Most Valuable Global Brand Report, this is TCS. And the worth of TCS is $50 billion. Actually, four Indian companies were featured in this report. First is TCS, second is HDFC Bank, third is Infosys, and fourth is LIC. Okay, rank of TCS was 46th, HDFC's rank was 61, Infosys rank was 64, and LIC was ranked at 92. Okay, and which company was at the top? It was Apple, then it is followed by Google and third was Amazon. Okay, so these were the top three most valuable brands according to this report. Okay, next question. Directorate General of Foreign Trade introduced PIMS recently. What is the expansion of PIMS? So full form is Paper Import Monitoring System and DGFT has amended the import policy of major paper product from free to free subject to compulsory registration under the PIMS. So this system shall come into effect from 1st of October 2022 and as per it, an importer will be required to obtain an automatic registration number through online system. Fine. Let's see some of the important questions. Which bank subsidiary partnered with the Ministry of External Affairs to set up a trilateral development corporation fund? So SBI Cap Ventures Limited, which is a subsidiary of the State Bank of India, has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Ministry of External Affairs for establishing this TDC fund. And this fund will root India's commitment of around 175 crore rupees to the Global Innovation Development Fund. And this fund will invest in mainly small and the medium enterprises from India. Okay, so answer would be State Bank of India. The Ministry of Petroleum and Crude Oil has set out the deadline for the blended fuels from 2030 to which year in the following year. So now the deadline for blended fuels is 2025 from 2030. For indigenous Astra beyond visual range missile, the Defense Ministry signed a deal worth how much fund? So Defense Ministry has signed a deal worth 2,971 crore rupees with Bharat Dynamics Limited for indigenous Astra beyond visual range missile. Which Union Ministry released the Draft Drug, Medical Devices and Cosmetic Bill 2022? It is not related to Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer, rather it is related to Ministry of Health. Union Health Ministry signed the Memorandum of Understanding with which Union Ministry to eliminate TB in India. So for this purpose, Union Health Ministry has collaborated with Ministry of Panchayati Raj and aim is to eliminate TB by the year 2025. Okay. Next question. Who heads the Board of Trade, the advisory body on the foreign trade policy? So Board of Trade, which is the advisory body on foreign trade policy, is headed by the Commerce and Industry Minister. And it includes the participants from the states, union territories and senior officials from the public and the private sectors. So government has nominated 29 non-official members from the different sectors including large and small enterprises on the board of trade fine let's see some of the important states that were in news which state or union territory launched the sahabhagita scheme to reward the residential welfare associations for property tax compliance so new delhi has announced significant changes in the property tax policy of the municipal corporation of Delhi after its unification. And also Delhi launched Sehbhagita scheme to reward the residential 
वेलफेयर एसोसिएशन फॉर प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स कलेक्शन एंड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम फाइन यूनियन टेक्सटाइल्स मिनिस्टर इनोग्रेटेड द न्यू कैंपस ऑफ द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फैशन टेक्नोलॉजी इन विच पर्टिकुलर स्टेट सो यूनियन टेक्सटाइल्स मिनिस्टर पीयूष गोयल इनोग्रेटेड द न्यू कैंपस ऑफ द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फैशन टेक्नोलॉजी एट पंचकूला इन द स्टेट ऑफ हरियाणा एंड दिस कैंपस वॉज इनोग्रेटेड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ हरियाणा चीफ मिनिस्टर मनोहर लाल खट्टर एंड एज पर द पॉलिसी ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ सीट्स इन द इंस्टीट्यूट विल बी रिजर्व फॉर द डोमिसाइल्स ऑफ हरियाणा ओके प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी अनवील द सेंटेनरी मेमोरियल पिलर ऑफ विच स्टेट असेंबल्ड रिसेंटली जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दिस इज बिहार स्टेट विच इज द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू इंप्लीमेंट सेंटर्स न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी एट प्री प्राइमरी लेवल सो उत्तराखंड बिकेम द फर्स्ट स्टेट इन द कंट्री टू इनिशिएट द प्रोसेस ऑफ इंप्लीमेंटिंग द सेंटर्स न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी एंड चीफ मिनिस्टर पुष्कर सिंह धामी इनोग्रेटेड द बाल वाटिकास एट आंगनबाड़ी केंद्रास एक्रॉस द स्टेट टू स्ट्रेंथन द प्री प्राइमरी एजुकेशन सिस्टम एंड ऑल्सो ही एडेड दैट बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी थर्टी द न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी विल बी फुली इंप्लीमेंटेड इन उत्तराखंड विच इज द वेन्यू ऑफ द नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ स्टेट एग्रीकल्चर एंड हॉर्टिकल्चर मिनिस्टर्स आंसर इज बैंगलुरु ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी अनवील द सेंटेनरी मेमोरियल पिलर ऑफ विच स्टेट असेंबली रिसेंटली सो प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी अनवील दिस सेंटेनरी मेमोरियल पिलर ऑफ बिहार असेंबली रिसेंटली वाई टू मार्क द कंक्लूजन ऑफ द वन ईयर सेंटेनियल सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ द स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव बिल्डिंग एंड द फाउंडेशन स्टोन फॉर दिस पिलर वॉज लेड बाई प्रेसिडेंट रामनाथ कोविंद ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड प्राइम मिनिस्टर विल ऑल्सो ऑफिशियली इनोग्रेट द गार्डन विच इज लोकेटेड नियर द पिलर एज शताब्दी स्मृति उद्यान फाइन कमिंग टू द क्वेश्चन स्लाइड विच इज द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू इंप्लीमेंट सेंटर्स न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी एट प्री प्राइमरी लेवल सो जस्ट वी हैव सीन दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर विद बी उत्तराखंड विच स्टेट इनोग्रेटेड इट्स फर्स्ट गैस बेस्ड टी प्रोसेसिंग सेंटर दिस इज त्रिपुरा प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी इनोग्रेटेड द सेंटर फॉर द ब्रेन रिसर्च इन विच स्टेट और द यूनियन टेरिटरी दिस इज कर्नाटका विच इज द लोकेशन ऑफ द बिम्स्टेक टेक्नोलॉजी ट्रांसफर सेंटर आंसर इज कोलम्बो एंड वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ बिम्स्टेक बे ऑफ बंगाल इनिशिएटिव फॉर मल्टी सेक्टोरल टेक्निकल एंड इकोनॉमिक कॉपरेशन ओके सो एक्चुअली इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टोटल सेवन कंट्रीज फाइव फ्रॉम साउथ एशिया विच आर दिस बांग्लादेश भूटान इंडिया नेपाल एंड श्रीलंका एंड टू आर साउथ ईस्ट एशियन नेशंस विच आर दिस म्यांमार एंड थाईलैंड राइट विच लोकेशन हैज द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आई टी सेंटर हैज बिन इनोग्रेटेड बाय द यूनियन कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर अश्विनी वैश्ना सो इट हैज बिन इनोग्रेटेड इन ले नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अर्जुन बबूता मेहोली घोष एंड तुषार माने हु रिसेंटली वन द गोल्ड मेडल्स फॉर इंडिया प्ले विच स्पोर्ट्स सो इंडिया अर्जुन बबूता वन हिज फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल शूटिंग स्पोर्ट फेडरेशन वर्ल्ड कप स्टेट गोल्ड बाय बीटिंग द टोक्यो ओलंपिक सिल्वर मेडलिस्ट ल्यूकास फ्रॉम यू एस ए एंड दिस चैंपियनशिप इज बींग हेल्ड इन कोरिया एंड मेहली घोष एंड तुषार माने have won the 10 meters air rifle mixed team gold at this world cup okay so all of them are related to shooting now let's see some of the important sports related current affairs which sports person won the malaysia masters badminton title 2022 it has been recently won by shiko ora wardoyo okay she is from the country indonesia and she has won this title by defeating Angus NG Ka Long who's from Hong Kong okay Alfie Pathan and Geetika who were seen in the news recently are associated with which sport so recently they have won the gold medal in the Alorada Cup in Kazakhstan's capital Nur Sultan so they are related to 
boxing fine and don't forget that at the same event kalai vani shrinivasan and jamuna boro have won the silver medals okay matt fitzpatrick who was seen in the news recently is associated with which sport so he is related to golf sports authority of india has opened its first ever set of squash court in which state so the first ever set of squash court would be set up in new delhi delhi election commission has named which sports person as the state icon this is yash dhul okay next question which is the first non english language series to be nominated for the best drama at the emmy awards so nominations for the 74th prime time emmy awards were amount were announced recently and it is a major american award for performing arts and entertainment so succession got the highest nominations at 25 and south korean survival drama squid game backed 14 nominations and also it became the first non english language series to be nominated for the best drama at the emmy awards fine right? let's see some of the important awards and honors japan government has awarded supreme order of chrysanthemum to which personality so they have awarded this to shinzo abe who among the following has received the times business award for the year 2022 it was awarded in the category of Eastern India's leading ready to eat brand this is Rashmi Sahu who among the following has been awarded the whitley gold award 2022 for his work done on red pandas this is sonam lama and don't forget that the red pandas are in the endangered category in the iucn list dr rajendra prasad memorial award which was recently announced is associated with which field it is related to public administration and uh, it has been announced by science and technology minister jitendra singh recently which indian has been awarded the ayurveda ratna award by the uk parliament this award has been presented to tanuja nesari who is the director of all india institute of ayurveda okay next question Kharchi is a traditional festival celebrated in which state or the union territory so it is a one week long traditional festival in which prayer to 14 gods and the goddesses is offered and this festival began in presence of thousands of devotees from across the country at tripura so it started with the bathing procession of the deities at river hora right coming to the question slide in order to boost mango export The Apeda recently launched an 8-day mango festival in which country? <clears throat> so we have organized this mango festival in collaboration with Bahrain. Which state or the union territory announced to conduct a government-backed shopping festival in 2023? This is New Delhi. Unmesh is an international literary festival organized at which state or the union territory? So Unmesh is a literary festival from the state Himachal Pradesh Kheer Bhawani Mela is a festival celebrated in which Indian state or the union territory It is a festival from Jammu and Kashmir Baiko festival is predominantly celebrated in which Indian state This is a festival from the state of Assam Also don't forget that India's very first lavender festival has been recently organized by Jammu and Kashmir okay Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today, and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minusatsana signing off